Hello everyone. In this class, we will try to learn how to determine bleeding time and clotting time. Bleeding time. Aim of this particular experiment is to determine bleeding time by Duke's method. Principle is a deep skin puncture is made and length of the time required for bleeding till the stoppage of bleeding is recorded. The apparatus required are lancet and spirit swabs, blotting paper or a filter paper, stopwatch. The procedure is very simple. Under aseptic precaution, prick the finger with a sterile lancet, then immediately start the stopwatch. Blot the drop of blood coming out of the puncture every 30 seconds by using a blotting paper. Then place each subsequent drop little further along the side of the blotting paper. Then stop the stopwatch as soon as bleeding ceases. Then count the number of drops on filter paper and multiply it by 30 seconds. So bleeding time is defined as the time from the onset of bleeding to the stoppage of bleeding. Bleeding stops due to vasoconstriction and platelet plug formation. The normal bleeding time is 1 to 5 minutes. Okay, so this is how the procedure is done. After the pricking, uh, the each uh, drop after 30 seconds is uh, blotted over the filter paper. Okay, so here and then the number of drops into 30 seconds gives a bleeding time. Here the bleeding time is around uh, 4 into 30 that is 2 minutes. So another um, uh, method is IV's method which is more preferred than uh, the Duke's method. So here the finger prick is made on the forearm after uh, tying the arm with the uh, spigma manometer cuff and uh, the pressure is raised to up to 40 mm Hg. After the deep uh, prick of 3 millimeters, then with the blotting paper every 30 seconds uh, in a similar way the blood is blotted after 30 seconds and then bleeding time is determined. So IV's method is uh, more uh, accurate than the Duke's method. In clotting time, the, the aim is to determine the clotting time by capillary tube method. So in capillary tube method, the procedure principle is a deep skin puncture is made and the blood is taken into capillary glass tube. The length of the time taken for the blood to clot, that is the appearance of the fibrin thread, is reported as a clotting time. The apparatus required are lancet and spirit swabs. The capillary tube of length 10 to 15 centimeters and with a diameter of 1.5 millimeter. Procedure is make a sterile finger prick by using lancet. Start the stopwatch as soon as the blood is visible. Obtain a good drop of blood. Allow the drop of blood to flow into the capillary tube by introducing one end of the tube into the drop and holding the other end at the lower level. Hold the capillary tube filled with blood between palms to maintain it at a body temperature. After 2 minutes, break the capillary tube about uh, 1 to 2 centimeters uh, for every uh, 30 seconds until the appearance of the fibrin thread. When thin string of fi fibrin appears, stop the watch and note the time. So that will be the clotting time. The normal clotting time is 4 to 9 minutes. Okay. So in capillary method, so this is how a moderate drop uh, is sucked into the capillary tube uh, like this up to the two-third of the capillary tube. Then after two minutes, it is broken at one to two, one, one centimeter length uh, at each uh, 30 second interval till the fibrin thread appears and then the depending on the number of uh, pieces you have to multiplying those number of pieces into 30 seconds the clotting time is determined. So Lee and White method is a definitive method uh, for determining clotting time. It is preferred over 
uh, capillary tube method. So here after cleaning the forearm, uh, make a vene puncture and draw 3 ml of blood in a silicon sided glass or plastic syringe. So then start the stopwatch, then transfer 1 ml of blood into 3 glass tube which are kept at 37 degrees Celsius in a water bath. Then after 3 minutes, tilt the tubes by once every 30 seconds. The clotting time is taken when the tubes can be tilted without spilling of their contents. Then calculate the clotting time uh, by average of these three tubes. Okay. So this is how the Lee and White method. Uh, the blood has to be taken in a clean tubes. So then after every 30 seconds the tube is tilted and the, uh, the clotting time is determined. So then it has to be reported my bleeding time is uh, so many minutes or clotting time is so many minutes. The normal value of bleeding time is 2 to 6 minutes, clotting time is 2 to 8 minutes. The, the bleeding time is prolonged in cases of thrombocytopenia wherever the number of platelets uh, reduces or in bone marrow a place here where, where the blow, uh, platelet count is reduced and in a defective platelet aggregation where uh, the function of the platelets is affected. Prolonged clotting time it is seen in liver diseases where the production of the most of the clotting factors are affected then in anticoagulant therapy or in vitamin K deficiency where I mean it is important for uh, the activation of the some of the clotting factors. Thank you.